runners, Francia and Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach to get your fixed physical therapy. And this is your Friday fix. We're finishing off the running series today. It's been a while, uh, bringing it to a close today. Last week we talked about how that foot plays in to the control when we're on that um, support limb. Today I want to talk about how that hip plays a role. So it ties in, the hip and the foot and ankle tie into each other significantly. It's always, it can be difficult to figure out what's coming from where. But what happens with that hip when we don't have good control through there? Several things can happen. One option is if we don't have good control here, we get this hip drop when we're running. So every step we take running, we collapse inward. That's one thing that can happen. Another thing that can happen is rather than that hip dropping, our leg drops inward. So it's coming from here versus that foot and that's dropping inward. Both of those can cause a significant amount of strain uh, through that pelvis, through the low back, or through the leg. So once again, like I said last week, it's not a matter of if you're gonna get injured, it's just kind of a matter of what's gonna get injured and when it's going to flare up on you. But when we're putting all these crazy torques because either we're dropping here and changing everything going on, or we're falling in, we're putting a lot of stress and strain on that hip, the joint itself, and the soft tissues around it. We're putting a lot of stress and strain on that low back, and we're putting a lot of strain in through that upper leg, into the knee, and even into that lower leg. So check out for yourself when you're in stance position, how controlled are you? Even do a quick change of support and see how controlled are you. See what wavers, see what doesn't. You can also test out your hip strength as well by doing a single leg bridge. That's a great way to see how your strength is on one leg, especially through that hip, because it requires a lot of hip muscles to uh, actually perform that movement. There's a lot of other tests you can do for it if you think this is something that's going on with you. There's also a lot of exercises to do if you think this is something going on for you. So if this sounds like you, uh, definitely reach out to me. You can comment below on here with your questions. You can email me, brianne at getyourfixedpt.com with any of your questions or follow me on Facebook at Get Your Fixed Physical Therapy or on Instagram at Get Your Fixed PT and ask your questions there as well. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. So hope that you enjoyed this series and until next time, let's go out and get your fix.